see these scrap pieces of wood uh, on each side of the uh, mounting plate outline is a representation of how big I want the plywood sheeting width to be and I'll just demonstrate to show that with where they are located if I bring my landing gear in place and I slide it down this gives me ample room to maneuver and to put the gear in uh, easily. So that's how I determined the width for the uh, plywood sheet that I'm going to mount on there. Uh, I'm going to give myself a little bit more room on this side just to, just to allow for extra clearance and I might move this a bit more, maybe a sixteenth of an inch, just to give me a little extra uh, added insurance and that'll leave uh, perhaps a nice opening here to ac access the uh, air lines as I had mentioned earlier and then I'll have it flush with here since there's nothing past this bay that needs to be accessed anyway so uh, I'll leave a, 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 a perhaps an eighth of an inch or so uh, lip here for the uh, also sheeting to uh, join and meet up with that uh, plywood uh, cover that I'm going to make for this. Um, so that's that's how I ended up determining the size of the plywood um, pl uh, cover that I'm going to make is going to be. I uh, use my gear as a determinant by mount by installing it to uh, determine how big I need to make that and not any bigger than that. Um, Again, like I said, I might choose to make this a little wider so that the area here is a little bit more accessible and uh, that will give me just a little bit extra uh, room to play with if I need it. As you can see, I took a piece of cardboard and I cut out an outline of the landing gear mounting plate and then I tested it out. And what I end up with is a representation of my cover that I'm going to make from 332nd thick plywood. And that'll be used to cover the access area around the landing gear and the mounting plate. And I'll take this off when I'm ready to access the landing gear. So that'll come off as a plate that looks like that see here and then I'll be able to take out the landing gear very easily uh, based on where this is located I can give you a brief idea of what the sheeting will look like the sheeting will come up against the side like that and there it'll come up as far as there on each side something like that. So what I'm looking for is uh, to make another one of these for the left wing and that'll give me my templates that I need to create my square uh, access panel and one final thing that I decided to do I'm gonna go ahead and place these under here and I'm gonna epoxy it to the spar and to the landing gear rail on each side and that'll give me another uh, point that I can uh, attach a screw. Uh, I want this I want this plywood pl cover to be snug against here. So if I put a screw in here, that's going to hold that down on two points here, and that's going to keep that nice and tight against the, the wing. And when I sand the balsa sheeting and the cover, 
everything will be flush and it will be hard to even tell hopefully where the uh, where the cover starts and the balsa sheeting ends and uh, that's the ultimate goal as you can see here I've put in two braces for the screws for the plywood cover so when I get a piece of plywood 30 30 second sheet I will make my template I'll take my template here and I will cut out my plywood cover and then I will mark four holes and I'll use uh, flathead screws similar to this and then I'll mark four holes and I will drill those for my flathead screws which I will use to hold down my plywood cover and that will take care of the access area and ease of installation for my landing gear. Uh, my next step here is I'm going to go ahead and put the blind nuts in the bottom underneath here. So I'm going to take these blind nuts for number uh, 632 screws. I'm going to place those underneath here through my holes and I'm going to use my screws themselves to suck those up into the wood and those teeth will bite into the, uh, the plywood rails and I will be complete with the installation and I'll be satisfied with that. So if you care to uh, follow along with this installation, you're more than welcome. Maybe you'll come up with some of your own ideas. I'd love to see them. Go ahead and include them. But again, if you want to just forego all of that, you can go ahead and make a cutout in the balsa sheeting that will leave an opening similar to this. And you can forego any of these pieces that I've added or blind nuts. Um, you will have to use wood screws. Um, you could use blind nuts too, I guess. But uh, wood screws would certainly make it even easier. So it's all up to you. You know, make it your own. Thanks for watching.